everybody, welcome back to Stone Magpie, Suzanne here. I hope you've all had a really good week. We're at the end of week six now. So this week I have spent eight hours on this project. Um, I call it a project, but it really is a passion. So in all, I've now spent 56 hours and 17 minutes. I will peel back the um, backing as it's getting further and further down, I'm up to here, but I can't fit it all on my camera. So I am going to start at the top and then I will push the picture up so that you can see the, the most recent bit because we've seen this bit quite a lot now. <laughs> right, I'll just peel back and I'll be with you in a moment. chart up so I must do that. There. So if it goes off the top like I say you've seen that bit before. Um, right here we are look at that beautiful shape she's not modelled on me. <laughs> right um, I just love this side I still love that bit. That bit is where there's quite a lot of confetti as you can imagine and pretty much here as well but overall not too bad at all i think as we go down they might get more and more but we'll see when we get there so as i say i think last time that i showed you the picture was i perhaps here somewhere around there so i think i've done all of that this week which pretty good going really um look we've got the the man in the background there and we've got the lady's eye and the start of an earring um, I haven't quite got that section in yet so we are getting down to the scales and this is the little bit that I'm a bit worried about because I did a smaller Libra picture I think it was 50 by 40 and although I really like it the animals on the scales weren't very clear so as I get down, I'm just going to push my chart up a bit to see how far off we are on the scales. Hmm, I might be starting to hit it next week or at least the top, if not this bit. So I'm just hoping it's really detailed. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that. Um, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can keep track of my progress on this picture. Another thing I wanted to talk about this week was static. Now my tubs and things are absolutely fine but what I'm finding is the spares that I've got in these little packets are sticking. Now you can see that quite clearly and as they're getting to the end of the diamonds as I'm trying to pour them, they jump out. Now I did take um, a bit of video of it, so I will attach it um, here. Back to my channel, I'm just doing a very quick video um, because what I'm finding is with my Josephine wall picture, these little packets are getting quite static. So I'm going to use this as an example. Let me just find the colour. So. When I put this in the tray, it's tending to jump around a bit. So the first bits go in, fine. Then can you see, they're sticking to the packet. And so as I'm getting them out, they jump about a bit and stick to me and all sorts. So get the last one out so they're all in and then if I lift this up they tend to jump did you see that they tend to jump out all over the place another one popped out there look <laughs> so what I'm gonna do oh and they're sticking to me and it's becoming a, a bit of an issue for me 
because every time I lift the tray, more jump out. So, what I've got, I've got some anti-static wipes. I've let it dry off a bit. Um, and what I'm thinking is that I can cut these into pieces. To small squares. And I'm going to insert them into the little plastic packets to see if it helps the issue. And these are the spare diamonds that I'm using. Um, so I've, I've still got my containers and they are fine. Some of them you can see stick to the side, but when I'm actually using them, there's not a problem. So I'm going to cut these into squares to actually put into here. So for example, here's another bag that looks quite staticky. I've let these dry out a bit so that I'm not putting anything damp in here. And then I'm just going to leave them for a while. Probably, I don't know, a day or two or whenever I need to use them and just see if that helps. So that will be interesting when I come back and show you the results to see if they still have the static in it. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, now you've seen what I mean about them jumping out. At the time I put these little slips of anti-static wipe in which I use for the computer and they haven't worked brilliantly. So you can see there, I mean, if I open it out, um, you can see they're still sticking and they're just not brilliant. I mean, I suppose are they better than they were? Let's try tipping them out onto a, I'll, I'll just move my camera a bit closer to the, to um, the table. Let's have a try. Sorry for the wobble again. I might have to put a wobble into every video. <laughs> Maybe that's my USP. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, let's tip them out and see. Yeah, they're still sticking quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not brilliantly pleased with that so what I'm what I've done this week is I've ordered some of the uh, dryer sheets you know the ones that you pop in your tumble dryer and I'm going to um, give that a go this next week so hopefully just move my camera back up so that you've got something nice to look at hopefully they will work better and I'll be able to report back on that um, and maybe it's because I put these in dry rather than damp. Um, so I'm not sure. Anyway, they're a little bit better, but not brilliant. Okay, so I think that's me just about done for this week. I do want to say a big thank you ever so much for all your comments that you put on my videos, because I love to hear about which Josephine Wall pictures that you've bought or what you're thinking of trying. Somebody as well recently put on a very lovely comment saying that I'd inspired them to try the square diamonds, which, oh, what a thrill that was. So thank you for that. Please do keep adding comments. Please do subscribe and I'll see you next week. Enjoy your diamond painting. Bye.